Hello. Right, guys. Hello, how are we doing? Not too bad. What's going on? Do you identify yourself, officers? 9123, Durham City Police Station. What's the crack? What's your name? Are you recording? Always. Always. You should tell people when you're recording them. It's in your, in your code of practice. It's an immediate response. Don't have to. What's your name, sir? You do. It's in your code of practice. Okay, what's your name, sir? I'm just letting you know. What's your name, sir? It don't matter what my name is. Okay, what's you doing around here at the minute then? Don't matter what I'm doing around here. Right, well, I can see you've got some items in your hand. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, that being obviously a drone. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And you are on a prison property? Uh, I am at the moment because I've been speaking to that gentleman. Right. I was on the public. Oh, okay. Uh, the road. Mm -hmm. About two minutes ago, I've just come in to speak to him. Right, okay. And what have you been doing around here at the minute? What, what's, what's, what's your reason for being around here? I'm just, I'm just out of the walk, mate. Don't need a reason. Okay, I'm just asking you. Who, who's this guy staring at me? So, is he? Are you waiting to come in here, mate? So, Can I help you? I'm just making conversation at the minute. So, what? So you've just come in here just to speak to this gentleman. <laughs> so the only reason that you've come onto the prison property is it? Am I actually on prison property? I now? believe you are. Yeah. All right. Would you like me to step off? So should we go over there then? Yeah. Well, okay, if it makes you Spot. feel better. Wait, I, see you later, man. If it makes you feel any better, mate, don't bother right. me. No, but I'll just speak to the gentleman. If you just keep yourself in the property for the minute, we'll go and find out what's going on. Hold on a minute. Speak to him about what? Well, we've obviously come for a reason, haven't we? <coughs> so we've well, I've been... no idea, mate. What what reason? Right. So we've been called here. Okay. All right. So I need to find out exactly what's going on. So give us two minutes, I'll well, come back speak to you. Should you have right? found out before you come out? I ain't giving you two minutes. I'm going. See you later. Yes, guys, it's Alder in Yorkshire. We are at HMP Franklin. So we finally, finally made it. Ministry of Justice, HP Prison, uh, sorry, HMP Franklin. Them famous old big doors. That's where prisoners will be going in and out. Looks like we've got a bit of a reception area. That looks like a visitors area. It is just off the main road, guys. So I believe, yeah, this bit here is um, public property because of the drop curbs, I think. So I'm going to come back to you as always guys with some information and we'll uh, we'll find out a bit about this place. Right here we go, so HMP Franklin was originally opened in 1980 with four wings each holding 108 single cells. A further two wings opened in 1998 uh, to an open gallery design to hold an additionally 206 inmates a specialist dangerous and severe personality disorder unit opened at the prison in may 2004 so the prison has increased in size in recent years following major redevelopment work including the construction of the new uh, dspd uh, westgate unit so that's what we've just spoke about dangerous and severe personality disorder um, in march 2008 the ministry of justice announced that franklin would be expanded again, with planning permission being granted for an extra 120 places at the prison. In 2011, two convicted prisoners, Nathan Mann and Michael Parr, disemboweled 23-year-old Mitchell Harrison, who has been convicted of raping a 13-year-old girl. Whew, sounds nasty. So guys, Franklin is a dispersal prison that holds male prisoners who are aged 21 years of age uh, and over and those who are sentenced to usually four years or more in prison or life sentences and high risk remand prisoners the prison accommodation is divided between wings um, wings A to D holding 108 inmates each wing F and G holding an additional 208 with J holding 120 all sing um, all cells sorry are single occupants sir. so there's no one sharing bunks in this place guys everyone has got their own cell 
The healthcare centre at the prison consists of a four bedded ward, intern furnished rooms, a dental suite, x ray, and suicide crisis suite. A number of clinics are held, and many conducted by visiting specialists. There, there are also um, telehealth services and wing based treatment rooms. Primary care is contracted to the County Durham and Darlington Foundation Trust. So, education at the prison is provided for by Manchester College, with a range of courses provided from basic skills to higher education level. Franklin also runs workshops in furniture production, a charity workshop and sight and sound workshop. The prison has a library and gym to support inmates learning and recreation. At Franklin Prison has a visitor centre, uh, facilities include a canteen and children's play area, all with disabled access. So that's the prison uh, visit centre, guys. We got your big famous uh, doors. No mobile, no mobile phones allowed. It's a criminal offence to bring any mobile phone into this establishment. Prison dogs patrol this establishment, keep your distance eight feet. And then we've just got the usual literature. What you see plastered around everywhere. So I do um I do what is it? <clears throat> no I'm being watched by CCTV, obviously visit centre um, so yeah uh, I was talking to to the dog handler chap in me a CCTV van um, it turns out that he, he actually works for the prison um, then were his two sniffer dogs and he was a, he was a really nice guy he, uh, he, he said he didn't have a problem with me walking around recording and things. He just said, if you get any staff members, would you be able to blur their images out? I said, yeah, that'd be fine. Any person throwing or transpar uh, transporting an unauthorised item into a prison is guilty of an offence. Prison Act 1952 and Section 79 of the Serious Crimes Act 2015. Well, I suppose you could throw something over there, couldn't you? Right, so I'm just having a walk down the side of the prison. I'm going to see if I can get to the back area. So we're going to go through some uh, former inmates. Uh, Camel Burgas. Uh, if you remember in the Wakefield uh, prison video, we spoke about him. Um, who killed the uh, police officer in Greater Manchester. Uh, so we've got Adam Johnson. Footballer Pedo, he used to be here. Charles Bronson, he used to be here. Uh, Peter Sutcliffe used to be here. So, current inmates. So, these, these inmates are quite famous guys, but not for the right reasons. So, we've got Michael, Michael Adibajo. I do apologise if I've pronounced that name wrong, because it is a difficult one to get. I'm sure everyone will remember him, him and his little crony who killed the uh, Fusilier, uh, Lee Rigby, uh, quite a few years ago now, down in London. They uh, run him over and decapitated him in the middle of the street. Uh, that was not good. You know, it, it was a sad day, to be honest. I think, I, I think most people in this country felt it. Uh, and what's worse is the young around, you know, saying that they'd done it for um, religious purposes and, and waited for police to show up. So I, re I remember that story quite well. Um, <clears throat> Wayne Cousins. Interesting. I'm sure everyone knows about Wayne. On 3rd of March 21, 
he killed 33 year old Sarah Everard so she was kidnapped in South London uh, after walking walking home from a friend's house I believe she was walking home uh, in the Brixton Hill area um, in a nutshell he approached her in his uniform um, sorry he approached her in plain clothes uh, showed her his warrant card um, and said that he was arresting her for uh, breach of Covid regulations and he kidnapped, raped her and, and ended up killing her. Uh, another big boy in here, well he's not so big now is he? Not now he's had his uh, throat slashed, Ian Huntley. Again I'm sure everyone knows who that guy is. Uh, guilty and convicted of murdering Jessica Chapman and Holly Wells. Um, I'm not going to go too much into his story but it is it is an interesting one guys so if you want to watch it on the um, you know there's plenty of stuff on YouTube about it and we've got some other people who I've never heard of Peter Chapman, David Copeland, Mark Dixie, Benjamin Green, Delroy Grant Sorry, bear with me. Yeah, so the uh, prison guard, the sniffer dog guy, he was just um, telling me to have a safe journey home. So we've got, um, sorry, I forgot where I were at now. There's, there's loads of notable inmates. Um, you know, notable current ones. I, I don't exactly know what every single one of them's done and uh, I can't be bothered. Reading through them all. I don't want to drone on for too long. But yeah, the... Um, I'll probably say the, the most well-known well names I, I know of in this place is that Michael guy. Adebayo or whatever it's called Wayne Cousins and Ian Huntley yeah, It's hard to believe that I'm probably just a few hundred feet away from them What they did I just don't, I'll, I'll just never understand it But I'll come back to you when I get back around front guys Oh I've just noticed this guys keep off rapid response road so this must be the rapid response road. I'll be if something's kicking off, won't it? I'll have to get round back right quick. It's nearly time to wrap it up here, guys. Got a um, CCTV van. What keeps following me round? That came down to uh, Franklin's car park when I was trying to find out who he was. If he wanted to speak to me, and he was just shaking his head, but he appears to be following me.
There we go. As you can see at Body Cam, the place I've stopped. I'm out of the geo zone. Ah, look at that, guys. There you have it. Live on camera. The police driving off, trying to harass and intimidate innocent members of the public. I wasn't having a go at you down there, pal. I didn't know you worked for prison. No. I just. I just thought you were a randomer, just like butting in what we're going on. They won't bite me, will they? They might lick you. <laughs> so they might lick you. Feel like being licked. Are you in? Are you um? Are you one of prison officers? Right. Can, if you look up into the sky, can you see it? Yes, I can yeah. see it there. I can see it. You know this is the wolf. It's, the, it's not going to go any further. I am out, I'm outside of the geo zone. You know your invisible fence. Did you even know you had one of them? Do you know what a geo zone is? It's a serious question. What is it you do mate? Do you know what a geo zone is? To stop people flying over prisons with drones. Yeah, so basically the software what's on this drone physically won't allow me to fly over it. Mm -hmm. I can fly around the perimeter Generally, when I do this kind of thing at prisons, I don't fly around the perimeter. I just go 400 feet up into the sky and I just get some nice aerial shots of the prison. For what reason? Documentaries. So there's, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Um, hence why the police have gone. Do you mind me asking what they said to you? What's that? The police. Ask you, okay. ask you if you were okay? Yeah, well, they tried harassing me down there, but asking me what I'm doing, I said, what's it matter what I'm doing? And when he's asking, oh, well, you've got equipment in your hand. Well, yeah. just confirm that you know and what the rules are. What's right. it to you? I know what the rules are, mate. Right, but I'm saying. Yeah. Um, uh, the jails been here, been Law Newton. I've been to Durham today. I've been to Armley, I've been to Weatherby and I do, this, I do the same thing so what I do is uh, I do a bit of filming tell a bit of uh, bit of the background on the place, bit of history, notable inmates that kind of thing and there's some really good ones here obviously for wrong reasons, I didn't mean it like that um, and then I took some aerial shots on my drone which is like a YouTube channel it's um it, it's for YouTube, yeah. Uh, yeah. To be on, to be honest, I don't, I, I don't even have to tell you that, but I'm, you know what I mean. I try and be right with people. If they're being right with me, uh, I try and be right with them. Uh, so if there's any any sensitive information, um, obviously, I mean, if if I see anybody, I shouldn't do. I blur their images out. Um, same with vehicles, any vehicles and stuff like that. So don't worry about it. All right. Yeah, that's what I... There you go. So it won't move now. It'll just stay there. Can you see it? Till it falls out of the sky. How can you see it? Till battery dies yeah. and it falls out of the sky. Anyway, I won't cause you any trouble. All right, guys. No, no, no problem. Uh, I'm only going to be about 15 more minutes. So. There we have it guys, the, um, the staff are aware of what I'm doing, the police didn't even stop on the way out to have a word with me, they followed me up here, but they didn't stop on the way out to have a word with me. So that's the car park over in when police turned up. Um, I'm sure that's a little new in the background where I've just been. And uh, yeah, this is HMP <coughs> Franklin. Absolutely huge piece of area. It's not often you see two prisons conjoined. But 
Ja. Ja. Looks like some kind of exercise yard. Well, no, you, you always expect prisons to be um, to kind of like look the same, don't you? like the Wakefield one and uh, if this one just looks completely different to that Wakefield one and so have a couple of others as well thought police horse had come for me then <laughs> you look suspicious, obviously. Yeah, well, I always do. Uh, I can't see any prison vans today. But yeah, guys, that's uh, back to the lot. I'm going to pull the drone back in. So this, this is a staff development um, centre which is just on the, um, on the way out of HMP Franklin. But yeah, the, um, the old build, they left and, and didn't bother me. They did go in and speak to someone. What about, I don't know. Uh, I haven't spoken to anybody else apart from the CCTV chat, but yeah, it, it's, been, um, it's been a good little experience. At HM Prison Franklin. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.